Uh, this is going to show you how to calculate the theoretical mass of copper for your practical. Three things you need, basically. You need the current in amps, you need the time, which is in seconds, and you need the molar mass of copper, which is 63.546. This equation, I've tried to simplify it for you. So you take your current in amps times by time times by the molar mass and divide it by 193,000. So if you had a current of 1.56 amps and your time is three minutes, which is 180 seconds, just put this into your equation and you'll get a mass out of 0 0.0925 grams. Three significant figures is all you need. Make sure you compare your results to your theoretical results um, and graphing your results versus your theoretical results is a really good way to analyze your prac. Uh, what I suggest you do is that you have them both on there. You're probably going to find that your um, actual recorded values are quite lower than the theoretical values, and that's perfectly fine. You just need to talk about some of the possible reasons for that. It might be that some of your copper's um, fallen off in solution. Um, it might be um, an issue with perhaps um, the leads um, and not getting all the current into the um, into your um, solution. Uh, there might be other issues as well, perhaps if... Um, you dried the electrode before weighing it. You might have scraped some of the copper off when you were drying it. So there's lots of different issues. You just need to talk about that. All right. Hopefully this helps. As I said, just go back and have a look at that equation. It's pretty straightforward. All you've got to do in your prac is show one calculation, okay, and then you can just put the rest of the values in the table.